everyone, Joel Lance here, and today I'm in Broken Arrow, yes, the Tulsa area of Oklahoma. Outside, Shaky Jake's, yes, Shaky Jake's. This is a burger and hot dog location here doing their, I think I have the name right, the Miss Cheese Steak Challenge, like, and not like Miss, Miss Cheese Steak? Something like that, I'll get you the name. Anyway, so this is a giant cheesesteak burger. Yes, so it is an oversized item, like of their cheesesteak burger that's normally on the menu. So it has all the beef, it then has uh, ribeye meat, it has peppers, onions, whatever else on cheesesteak, lots of cheese. There is cheese sauce that it is drenched in. Then there is also some of their homemade onion rings. In addition, we also have, I believe it's two hot dogs. Again, they're also known burgers and hot dogs. So that's pretty cool. It is a 30 minute time limit. And if we uh, complete it, we do get a sweet t-shirt. So I'm definitely excited for that. The meal is, I think it's 45 bucks. Um, but anyway, that's pretty much what I know. I'll get you some more details here momentarily. So yeah, burgers, hot dogs, onion rings. I can't complain. So with that, let's head in, have fun. And let's go eat some food. Hi everyone, so here we are with the Philly cheese mistake. I do say I like the name. So we have um, of the equivalents of six of their burgers here on this giant oversized bun. We then have it doused in cheese. That's kind of a signature thing for their Philly burger. Um, again, this is a oversized item on the menu, Philly steak burger, looks really good. I then have two hot dogs, which are doused also now in cheese. We have the Oki here, which is a barbecue. And then we have the surf dog, which has like teriyaki sauce, uh, grilled pineapple, avocado, cilantro. Pineapple and hot dogs. Let me know what you think. That's controversial on pizza. I dig it. And then we have uh, some of their house-made onion rings. They do look really, really good. I do have some ketchup. You know, I'm all about that ketchup life. And then there is actually like the Philly cheese stick meat on that as well. So that's pretty much about it. Looks really good. Like we said, we do have 30 minutes to complete the challenge. So loosen up the belt a little bit. That's what you can't see behind the table. Um, this is actually still really surprisingly hot. Woo, that kept the, ins like, insulated the heat really, really well. So I'll get started on the hot dogs, and we'll come to this burger. I'll leave the top off to uh, let it cool off a little bit. Doused in cheese sauce. People love that cheese sauce. All right, so how about we get a rock and roll, and let's say the count of maybe five, four, three, two, one. Let's rock and roll. Pickled onion. Yes, please. And you guys can talk and stuff. You don't be quiet. Yeah. Shout out that hot dog. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here at Shaky Jake's in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Good to be back in Tulsa. It's been a, been a long time. Um, and I will say, I like Tulsa. Friendly people, cool place. So here we are taking on a giant Philly cheesesteak burger. So this is a giant version of their normal menu item, Philly cheesesteak burger, which is super, super popular and I definitely see why. So I absolutely loved having, you know, kind of the, the ribeye, the peppers, the onions on the burger. I think that is a great, great, great addition. Pickled onions on anything is delicious. This with the sweetness of the pineapple. Very, very good. Next we have the Oki Dog. This has a whole bunch of um, pickles and coleslaw and barbecue sauce on it and brisket. Mm. Oh wow. I love it. It is normally absolutely covered in cheese sauce. They only did partial covering in cheese sauce for me. Um, but if you order like the little one, it is absolutely covered in their house made cheese sauce, which is super cool. And uh, let's just appreciate the beauty of those hot dogs. I gotta say, I'm actually super impressed with these hot dogs. I like wasn't knowing what to expect. Amazing flavors. Man, the barbecue, the toppings, the different avocados and everything on there was amazing. Like it was so, so, so colorful, so f delicious. And I gotta say, literally probably some of the best hot dogs I have ever had. It was amazing, amazing. The burgers, now they were uh, cooked kind of like uh, smash style, um, just some great seasonings on it. I think it was kind of like a you know Montreal steak spice or kind of salt, pepper, onion, garlic kind of thing. 
um, so you know nothing wrong with that they had the uh, custom made bun for the challenge as well oh and of course there was all the onion rings their house made onion rings which they are also very famous for um, a big like hand breaded crispy onion ring which I will say if I'm eating onion rings that's the way I want them I want them hand battered breaded big burger with Philly cheesesteak meat onions peppers mushrooms and lots of cheese whip out some ketchup action all about that ketchup life Whew. yeah lots of cheese on these patties but I'm going to continue to talk about the food, kind of showcase everything as we go along. So with that, I think that's pretty much all the details. Um, the restaurant also used to be a church, which was super, super cool. So it's a really unique layout with some great big windows. They have some stained glass. It's a cool spot. I definitely recommend checking it out. So like that, let's get to the rest of the video. And let me know down below, would you actually prefer a cheesesteak or a burger? I mean, obviously here we have the combination of two, but if you had to pick one, give me a hashtag cheesesteak or a hashtag burger down below. And with that, let's get to the rest of the video. So we're about 4.45 in, no complaints. Definitely a big burger. We are making our way slowly but surely. Lots of, uh, got a really interesting cheese on that. Now this is the insulated part, really hot. Love me some ketchup. There's a lot of beef on this. And we're about seven ish minutes in, I believe. Making our way. Definitely have our protein. And then these onion rings look, look awesome. They actually make them here, so they can bread them. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Try these onion rings. Might need some more ketchup here momentarily. Thank you. I appreciate it. Woo. I'm being taken very well care of, so I appreciate that. Nice and crispy. I like that a lot. And a real thick onion. Three onion rings and then two big bun pieces. Thirteen minutes, guys. Ish. Two cheesy buns, and that's about that.
coming on 15 minutes into buns and chill. Going good, no complaints. Almost finished up here, but uh, yeah, it's definitely a solid amount of food, that's for sure. That beef caught me by surprise how much of it was on there. I gotta say this bun, actually has a really nice kind of sweetness to it. Plus, this is the bottom bun, it has all those burger juices on it. It's actually super enjoyable. I'm digging it. About 17 and a half minutes. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. 18 minutes, 16 seconds, I believe is the time. I gotta say, I was so surprised about that challenge. So surprised. Let me explain. As I wipe myself, because I'm probably covered in cheese and burgers. That being said, I have no shame being covered in cheese and burgers. Because that was awesome. <coughs> Excuse me. So those hot dogs. Those are mind blowing. Those are absolutely delicious. Like, arguably some of the best hot dogs I've had to memory. Like, crazy good. Super, super surprised by that. Those onion rings. Really good. Super surprised by that. Burger was good as well. Now, I think, like, I was, it was a little more what I was expecting, if that makes sense. So don't get me wrong. It was good. But I was expecting it to be what it was. But holy crap, those hot dogs. Amazing, 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 amazing. That's kind of like what they're really known for, like burgers, hot dogs, they call them franks. Um, and then the, uh, like the, the onion rings as well. So I can definitely see why those are a fan favorite. Um, so for that, we do get a sweet t-shirt, which is pretty cool. I gotta say, like I said, definitely, definitely, definitely a big, big, big item. There was so much beef on that. I didn't realize how much beef there was until I started diving into it. It was cool that it had like the, uh, ribeye meat and the peppers and the onions as well nice kind of a flavor to add in And this is one of their most popular burgers and then like they pour the you know the cheese sauce on it or whatever So I thought that was pretty cool. I got no complaints um, Huge thanks over your shaky jakes guys. It was definitely definitely a cool experience There's uh, much love from the Tulsa slash Broken Arrow uh, area. So thank you <laughs> And uh, we made it through we made it through despite my my head cold and feeling like that, we got her done. So that was awesome. So yeah, like I said, happy to get that done. Happy to get that win. It's been a long time since I'm back in the area. And uh, I got no complaints. I got really no complaints. So definitely Shaky Jake's a cool place to stop on by. If you do want to get a burger like this, um, send them a message. You, they do need advance notice and you got to coordinate that, and et cetera, et cetera. Excuse me, comments to the chef. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But in my world, burping is not too bad. But yeah, like I said, no complaints. Definitely enjoyable. And uh, that everyone, until next time, of course, I have another hungry, happy eating. Until next time, have a lovely day.
Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much. You rock.